for the program is rekindle the Holy Spirit fire. We have seen that there was fire and the fire is not at as it was. We need to rekindle the fire. And the Lord has used the executive council members to bless us through many topics. We have seen all the gifts manifesting through the administrations. Most are combining multiple gifts. And each message was a blessing to us. This morning I'm talking on a topic not by might nor by power but by my spirit. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we take our Bibles and open at Zechariah chapter 4, 6 and 7? Yeah, fire true on the Yakin Kan Zachariah and woman eighty nine. It's you moon see a copy man song. So he answered and said to me, Now, okay, no catch around me, sir. This is the word of the Lord to, to Zerubbabel. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. Says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you shall become a plain. And he shall bring forth the capstone. Of shouts of grace. Grace. Adam to it. Adam. Amen. Amen. This is the message from the Almighty God to his people who had come from captivity. And Zerubbabel was the governor who led them from captivity. To Jerusalem. And the Lord had commanded them to build his temple. They faced stiff opposition. And then the Lord, through the prophet, the prophet Zechariah, encouraged them. And also, prophet Haggai. And these are some of the messages. As Christians, what I want you to understand is that we should acknowledge that our sufficiency is of the Lord. But for him, you could do nothing. And we have to count on his spirit to enable us to succeed. The devil is at work 24 hours a day. Our wisdom cannot enable us to overcome the devil. Military power cannot enable you to overcome the devil. Your money cannot help you to overcome the devil. Your hard work cannot help you to overcome the devil. We need the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lord told Zerubbabel to Zechariah. When they face strong opposition, the opposition was seemingly insurmountable. But the Lord encouraged them that Zerubbabel will be able to overcome. They face Great mountain. When you say mountain, it's very difficult to remove mountain. It is very difficult to shake mountain. So the opposition was like a mountain. And the Bible says, the Bible says 
Zerubbabel was to freeze the restoration temple. It's not, I was saying Zerubbabel said to me, see, I saw Diana, I was with so Diana. So this test in Zechariah, you see everything in Ezra. And he said, when you read Ezra chapter 4 verse 3 it tells us that Zerubbabel led the captivity to Jerusalem from Babylon and through the prophet there were fast predictions which were fulfilled the Lord has prophesied about you and I want to tell you that the Lord is truthful, and whatever He has said about you will be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Amen. Who are you, O great mountain? You become a plain. Now, because Zerubbabel. I was Zerubbabel. Who are you? Why now? The opposition was a great mountain. And then the Lord gave them prophecies that the hand of Zerubbabel had begun and it will finish. Who are you great mountain before Zerubbabel? There are great mountains in your ministry. And who are they? You will be able to make sure that the great mountain will become a play. The great mountains will be removed and you will succeed in your ministry. That was the first prediction. And the Bible says, He shall bring forth the headstone with certain of grace, grace to it. Now, I to the Adam, Adam, Adam also. During that time, it was a custom of the magistrate, the chief magistrate, to lay the foundation stone and then the capstone. So the prophecy was saying that Zerubbabel will be able to finish. The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of the home. Or the house and his hands will finish it. You have started your ministry and you will finish it. You have started the ministry, there are great mountains, but be informed that you'll be able to accomplish your ministry. You are ministry. Many started and they couldn't finish. But for you, you will finish. I am saying you will finish. There will be mountains. But you will be, be able to overcome the mountains. You are facing mountains in the ministry. Sometimes you want to call it quit. Don't call it quit. The mountains will be plain. The mountains will be reduced to become plain. May every mountain that is troubling you become a plain in your life. Every mountain in CSC will become a plain. Hallelujah. Amen. You will succeed in ministry. Now, but if some people could not succeed, you will succeed. Would you be If some people have failed, as for you, as for you, as for you, as for you, you will succeed. Would be dinkunim. Not by might, not by power, but by the spirit. You will overcome. Would be dinkunim. If you go with the spirit, if you allow the spirit to use you. Allow yourself to be used by the Spirit of the Lord. There's no way that you fail. Those who failed did not allow the Spirit to use them. So you fail yourself unto the Spirit. No one has failed who allowed himself to be used by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Another prediction. You will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. 
Don't forget that is the Lord who has sent you. The station in which you are working is the Lord who has sent you. And the Lord Jesus said, The Lord who sent me is with me. He has not forsaken me because I'll do his will. As long as you will do the will of the Lord, he will never forsake you. And if the Lord does not forsake you, if the Lord does not forsake you, somebody will never fail. Say, I will never fail. The Lord will not forsake me. I will continue to do His will. And as long as I do His will, I will overcome. I will overcome this year. Next year, I will overcome. Ten years to come, overcome. I will overcome until I have accomplished my work. The one who sent me is with me. He has not forsaken me. When the Lord sends you, He doesn't forsake you. And if the Lord does not forsake you, you will never fail. Say, I will never fail. I will overcome every day. No matter the mountains, the mountains will be played. The mountains will be reduced. I can't play. Hallelujah. Amen. The hand of Zerubbabel has started it. Zerubbabel and he will finish. Because the Lord is with him. It's not by might. It's not by power. But by the Spirit. The hand of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel has Zerubbabel started to build the temple. You will finish. You will finish your work. You will finish your work. There are mountains, demonic mountains, human mountains, but you will overcome. The good news is that regardless of the mountains, no matter their heights, no matter their strength, no matter their number, as long as the Lord is with you, as long as you are operating in the spirit, you will overcome the man this will be overcome. Every mountain will be reduced. Mountains in ministry. Mountains in your life. Mountains in the lives of the members. All these mountains will be reduced. So we can't play. Hallelujah. Amen. You know that the Lord has sent me. The one who has sent us is faithful. He is too faithful. He will never let you down. There are some ministers who have forgotten that is the Lord who has sent them. He has called us. So do his will. Don't do what he dislikes. Faithful is the one who calls us. And he will do it. Our parents can let us down. Our friends can let us down. Our wives can let us down. Even your senior minister can let you down. Your wife can let you down. Your husband can let you down. But the Lord will never let you down. The Lord will never let us down. He is faithful. And every day he is faithful. He will not let us down. Hallelujah. Amen. Is somebody there? Obi waha. Is somebody there? Obi waha. The fifth prediction. They shall rejoice. Now when you back it and see the plum line in the hand of Zerubbabel. The plum line is an instrument used for building. So the Lord is going to equip you such that every mountain will be overcome. May the Lord equip you. May the Lord equip you. May the Lord equip you. If the Lord equips you, you will be you will be able to overcome every mountain. Don't fear any mountain. Because not by might, not by power, not by 
strength but by the spirit everything that is above is above all so the spirit is from above it is above every mountain on the earth so there's no way you are going to fail just to somebody that you will never fail because not by your might not by your power but by the spirit Amen. Amen. Let us see the great mountains. My just have a pocket here. That you get mountain, you become a place. What's that? The pocket, so be it as a separate. The hand of Zerubbabel has become it. Zerubbabel, so they fear say, and he shall obey you. Hallelujah. Amen. The great mountain was symbolic of opposition. When they were rebuilding the temple. From the reign of King Saros. To King Daros. There was deep opposition. And at a point in time, they stopped building the temple. Hallelujah. Amen. They were opposed. Now Let us read Ezra. This Zechariah test in uh, Zechariah 4 says you will see the key at Ezra. Zechariah 4 5. Ezra 4 5. Then the people of the land tried to discourage the people of Judah. They troubled them in building and hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia. Maybe until the reign of King Darius of Persia. They frustrated them. So in the ministry, one of the mountains is frustration. When you are seriously working, the devil you use some people to frustrate you. It's a great mountain. A mountains. Whatever you do, people will try to frustrate you. But despite the frustration, regardless of the uh, frustration, you will be, uh, be able to overcome. So don't fear. They had counselors. They were hired. So the devil has had some people. Whatever you do, they will frustrate you. When you are in the executive, they will frustrate you. When you are in the territory, they will frustrate you. When you are in the area, they will frustrate you. When you are in the local, they will frustrate you. Even your own life, they will frustrate you. Regardless of the situation, they will frustrate you. 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 They will frustrate the miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. Not by might. Not by 
spirit. But by the spirit. The spirit. That used Apostle Anim. Apostle Redu. Apostle Redu. Apostle Redu. Daniel Redu. Daniel Redu. And all of them. The spirit. It's a life. And you are going to. For a candle. For a candle. The spirit. In the church. Somebody try. Somebody try. Every mountain. Demonic mountain. Will be removed. Will become a prey. Demonic mountain. Will become a prey. The time is up. For us to perform a prey. We are going to revive the church. The church will revive. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 4 and 7. Yes, Ezra. In the days of Atasasis, now Atasasis also also Bissalam and Matridat, Bissalam and Matridat, Tabel and the rest of their companions, anyone that can come on, wrote to Atasasis, what rock of my Atasasis, king of Persia. And the letter was written in Aramaic. Now Sakrat and Yajaw Aramaic mo. And translated into Aramaic language. Now what translate Aramaic kase mo? And this is what they told the king. Now when they are some of the captain of Hena, King Atasasis. Oh Hena Atasasis. Let that be known to the king. Now when you work at Hena, what's that? The Jews who came from, who have come to us at Jerusalem, from Jerusalem, are building the rebellious and evil city. And to sum it up, they said, King, if you allow them to build, they will not pay their, their, their customs. Tribute to the kings treasury. And then the treasury would diminish. So don't allow them to rebuild the temple. But the Lord has said, the house of Zerubbabel have started and the house of Zerubbabel will finish. So they strongly opposed them and when the king read the letter written to them by the enemies he prevented them from building the temple so they ceased building the temple CSE we are ready not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit. The Lord will help us. The Lord will help us. May the Lord help us. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the king, when he had, he, he had read their mischief, he stopped them. So, they couldn't continue on building the temple. So, when to me and see, I saw it, I know. They stopped. We die. And for some years they were not building. But let me tell you that many are the plans of the devil. Many are the plans of man. But only the counsel of the Lord shall stand. Many are the plans of man. But only the council of the Lord shall stand. The devil had made a council against your ministry. Demons have made a council against your ministry. Not, your, not by your might. Not by your power. But by the spirit. You'll be able to accomplish. Many are dead and gone. But enough of the death. You are not going to die. You are not going to die. If you are afraid, the mountain of death, I am saying the mountain of death, who sees in the church, the work of the devil is in ascendancy, its prevalence in the church. But we will stop it, not by might, not by power, but by the spirit. They stop the, uh, the building of the temple. Are you there? So the prophet Haggai and Zechariah 
encourage them. To Odifo, Zachary, Hallelujah. Amen. So be encouraged by the messages that you are hearing. Because the Lord of hosts. Has purposed. He has purposed that he will use you. Who shall annul it? The Lord of us has purposed that he will build with his church. Who shall annul it? No one can annul what the Lord has planned for you. The Lord will use you mightily. And no one can annul it. Are you ready to be used by the Lord? Why are you are you ready to be used by the Lord? Why are you so ready to be Juma? They encourage them. It was so that the spiritual apathy so, and the disturbances will be, 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 be seized because the spirit of the Lord was happening. Are you there? Amen. Are you there? Amen. So, do you know what happened? What happened? Now, let me see here. Zachariah, when he was encouraged by this professor. He started rebuilding the temple. Zachariah think when set them free, or do for her guy one of the associates or They were weak. Now we have mere from Ezra. They were poor. Now we are here They were being frustrated. Now we are They were. had no money. Now we need to But they had God. Now no But they had God. Now we They were troubled. Now we how one They were weak. Now we are They were frustrated. Now we are But they had God. Now no one yamen. You have God. What's who one yamen? The devil is troubling you. Satan is hard. You have God. That's who one yamen. Somebody is disturbing you. Oh, be hard. But you have God. That's who one yamen. Because of the Lord. Because of His Spirit. It's not who you are accomplished. It's who be doing what. Can stop you. You are going to conquer and you will come out successfully. There are some great mountains in which God has called us. So the Lord used Zerubbabel to fresh it. Do you know what happened? Everything that was taken to Babylon was returned. Babylon signed the Gold vessels. Silver vessels. Caps made with gold. All were returned. So they recovered everything taken by the devil. It was a dear set and fire and was a kind of view. Everything that is ours, the Lord has restored. Everything that is yours, and the devil has taken, the Lord has restored. He has restored your strength. You are standing restored. Your gifts are restored. Your heart. That was taken. Has been restored. So you are going back home with good strength. You came with ill health. But you are going with good health. If you want to say I receive. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to pray. Amen. Yes. 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 If you take the reverend, you'll be healed. So we did too much. Our ministry will be healed. Your ministry will be healed. What we do, my yano benya abenya yarosa. I'm saying your ministry will be healed. What we do, my yano benya yarosa. You are going to be revived. And what the Kenya will be. And miracles will follow you. And sanctions will follow you. Miracles will follow you. And sanctions will follow you. When you open your mouth, there will be miracles. There will be miracles. When you open your mouth, there will be miracles. There will be miracles. There will be miracles. One day I was ministering. That corona may can you hear me? And a certain contractor told me. Now, Papa, be aware of your money. Catch your message. Sister, suffer. 
I was committing adultery and it was uncontrollable. And when you were speaking, something came out from me. And according to that person, ever since that time, he has not committed adultery. You are message alone. You are message alone. You are here many people. May that gift be given to everybody who is here. When you are preaching, your messages will hear people. When you are praying, by the mention of the name of Jesus, you are here many people. When you are preaching, by the name of Jesus, you are here many people. When you are preaching, by the name of Jesus, you are here many people. When you are preaching, by the name of Jesus, you are here many people. When you are preaching, by the name of Jesus, Receive that gift. Are you there? Are you there? May the Lord help somebody. May the Lord help somebody. The Lord will restore everything. Let us see some great mountains in the ministry in which God has called us. That's what. Number one is demonic opposition. Demonic opposition. A demon here was sorry to you. The Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. The Bible says, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we're not going to move." But against principalities. Now we are new to meet here. Against powers. I need to meet. Against rulers of darkness. To meet our yeah, it's what we're doing. And spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. And yeah, we fear what we are doing. We are strong, we're strong. We are not content with. Fresh and blood. And you know, when I'm the one that we are contending with some spirits we do not know. And we don't see them. Now you who are? But the Bible is telling us that it's not fresh and blood. And you know, when I'm the one. As for you and your brother, when you are there, there is no problem. I have been in the problem. Is the spirit? Nemo, or how no? I am the spirit word. Oh, how no? If you are able to overcome the spirit, we are going to overtake. You are going to be a far. We will recover everything. Yes, so the Kaya ni adi na. The Lord will give everything back to us. We are going to overtake. Yes, you are going to be a far. Somebody say we overtake. You are going to be a far. You are you overtake. You are going to be a far. Somebody, are you ready? Why are you ready? Not by might. Not by power. Not by the spirit. Come with the candle. Come with the candle. The Holy Spirit fire. You will overtake. May you receive that overtaking spirit. And in life too. They are going to overtake. There are some people who are ahead of you. But be prepared that you are going to overtake. But taking is not illegal. But by just so we say you be one, and yes, and yamra. It is allowed. Yamra, yamra. On the road, so who are crying us? And the car is ahead of you. And you are able to overtake. That's how to be signed on one. That car is not illegal. But I am. And yes, and yamra. So it is not illegal. Into and yes, and yamra. That's yes, yes. That's yes, yes. When we recant. The spirit. That was poured upon the church. And everyone heard it. We are going to overtake. Not by might. Not by power. But by the spirit is coming. And the car is coming. Come. Now we are back. It is resting in your lap. It is coming. Now we are back. 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 Get revival in the church in every assembly. But one thing I want you to understand is that when the revival is occurring, and you hide anything that you are not supposed to be seen, you continue to wallow in sin. And you hide anything that you are not supposed to be seen, you continue to wallow in sin. And 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 you continue to wallow in So that we'll be able to overtake churches. And Radia Yakrado said, "Or the no one be my answer, ya be ya, ya be saying sorry, you know." May the Lord bless somebody. And Radia Shira will be with her as you are prepared. So we are we are we are dealing with heavenly hosts, demonic powers. It's the idea of moving in. That is what we should be very careful. And I was here saying, "Who you?" Almost all the preachers have spoken about this 
demonic powers which is in the ascendancy in the church which is prevalent in the church so the Lord we want the true spirit it is you need to pray. I was If somebody prayed and had a spirit, so be bumpy and it's a What is impeding you from praying? I don't need to cry. So we also pray. So we also bumpy. We also have it. We also in Sabeka because the spirit is there. It's not a home. We are going to revive it in the church. The members are in trouble. The members are in trouble. As a woman, how they are affected? What are the team? If the ministers are affected, as of what the team? How long shall we sit down? to see the afflictions of the devil resting in the church. We are going to overcome. Is somebody ready? Say we are overcoming. Right from this program, the fire is ignited. The church is set abreast. The church is set abreast. The church is set abreast. May every assembly look be set abreast. With the power when you know of the Holy Spirit, you know with the fire, you know you're going to see the church yeah, but we'll sorry set a brace in every local. Somebody say amen. Obi, say amen. Are you taking delivery of the sermon? We say, Son, you Receive, the Receive the power. Receive the power. Let us be upstanding. Let us pray small. Say, Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Spirit, come. Spirit, come. Spirit, come. Spirit, come. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Holy Ghost, 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 Holy
Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, set us, set us, set us, set us, set us on fire, set us on fire, set us on fire, set us on fire now. Not by might, not by power, oh, but my spirit. for making time with us. We believe you've been blessed hearing today's message. For copies of today's sermon, audio, DVD and MP3, visit the Christ Apostolic Church International Headquarters Bookshop at Osu, where you can also get other life-changing Christian literature. Follow us on these social media handles. Visit our website on www.cac-int.org. Send us an email, info at cac-int.org. For further inquiries, kindly call 055-970-9267-055-970-9472-0235-965-555-0302-774-297. You can also visit any of our branches worldwide and fellowship with us. Join us again on this channel. God richly bless you.